What's up? Everybody the VC. Craig here with a monstrous vinyl update. Um, got three out of my five eBay packages that I talked about in my last vinyl update. Uh, some dollar fines and a fine that was just insane. Uh, I'll kind of explain as I go. Uh, and try and split this into two parts because it's going to be pretty long I think. Got about 46 albums in total to show. So, let's get started. Uh, let's play in the background. Blackout. Scorpions. Classic album. Love this album. Uh, Can't Live Without You. No One Like You. Blackout. Dynamite. Shine a White. Killer. Love this album. Alright, so let's start with the eBay packages. Uh, like I said, three out of the five have shown up. Uh, these are the major ones that I really wanted to show, so I'm glad these all showed up. So, uh, first things first, Hendrix Smash Hits. Really glad to have this. Surprised nobody tried to get in a bidding war with me this. This is a mint minus, uh, 70s pressing killer. Uh, just greatest hits. Not a big fan of greatest hits, but. Always glad to add the Hendrix collection. And of course, Axis Bold is Love. One of my favorites. If Six was Nine, Little Wing, Spanish Castle Magic, Castles Made of Sand. It's great. And the condition on both of those is kick ass. They're both 70s pressings, both like practically like maybe play once or twice. So glad to have them both for really cheap. And uh I got four here from one of my favorites, Grip of the Dead. Uh, obviously, if you watched my last vinyl update, you saw that I added two more to the collection. So, with these four I've got right here, those two and the one I already had, I've got a nice, nice Grip of the Dead collection now. So, uh, all these are not original pressings, but uh, great condition. Uh, Anthem of the Sun, 70s pressing. Uh, no real songs that anybody would know off of here, but I love this album. So drenched in psych. And drugs. Working Man's Dead. Uh, Casey Jones, Uncle Giant's Band. Songs that anybody would know. Wig of the Flood. Killer. Uh, Eyes of the World. Um, Weather Report Suite. Nah, Road Jimmy, Stella Blue, love this album. And not a personal favorite, but Shake Down the Street. Uh, what's going on here? Fire on the Mountain. I, I like the live version of that. I love that song. So, killer stuff there. Got a few other eBay purchases coming, but uh, waiting on those probably next week, but I'll just leave those till the next update. Alright, so. I go into my normal spot yesterday, uh, machine used. Go ahead and just pick up some more of the dollar finds because I know I wanted to siphon through the rest and grab some more and uh, pick up a few more that I'd seen in the regular bins that I wanted to pick up. And so, we'll, uh, we'll get with the dollar finds. Alright, uh, Moody Blues. Uh, every Good boy deserves favor. I want to say flavor. Not really familiar with this. I'm not big on the Moody Blues, but I've got a few albums. So I mean, for a dollar a head, couldn't pass up. Covers a little rough. I obviously got the stickers here, but the vinyl is just killer. Right. Uh, this was a replacement copy. Songs and Attic by Billy Joel. Not for the cover, not for that. I actually have a really good copy, uh, UK import, but uh, I was missing all the inserts. So I got this mainly just for the inserts. I know what you're thinking, I probably just could have cheated the system, put those in another album and not bought this, but I mean, honestly, the owner cuts me deals all the time, so one album, not a big deal. Alright. Uh, I know LJ showed this in a video recently, and so I wanted to show it as well. So I had to pick it up because of him. Uh, Supremes at the Copa. Um, I have not listened to this yet, but I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Alright, 
to by the Almond Brothers. First, their first self-titled album. Uh, so repressing. I already have this album. Uh, I have the uh, double disc of uh, Beginnings, which has this album and uh, Odd Wild South. That one's gone. Yeah. Um, but I wanted a actual copy of this myself, so had to pick up for a buck. And uh, Enlightened Rogues. Have not listened to this yet, but looking forward to it and always glad to add to the Almond Brothers. Ha! <laughs> little cheese. First Offense by Corey Hart. Uh, everybody would know this for uh, Sunglasses at Night, which is the reason I bought it and gave it a spin. It's 80s. What do you expect? But really cool to have. Uh, like I said, not a fan of the greatest hits, but the Birds' greatest hits. I've already got a good majority of their early work uh, up through. Nah, I got Tambourine Man, Fifth Dimension, Turn, Turn, Turn. Uh, but I wanted to have this just, just because if I don't want to flip through all the albums just to hear the hits one day, I'm gonna just throw this on. So, uh -huh. Big Life by Night Ranger, uh, their fourth album, uh, late 80s, 80s, 87. So, um, and this would, I don't even know, what, I don't even know what hits besides uh, Secret of My Success. I know they played that when I saw them live a few years back. Um, big fan of Night Ranger. Uh, I haven't listened to this yet to compare it to any of their other releases, but so cool to have. And, Modern Times by Jefferson Starship. Oh, this has uh, Find Your Way Back, Stranger. Um, I know. Jefferson Starship. <laughs> what can you say? So, alright. Uh, so, on to my big finds. Um, so, I'm standing in line, going to pay for my stuff, and lo and behold, owner's working and he's going through a batch of albums um i noticed he was going through these while i was digging and stuff and kind of overheard some of the conversation heard a few key names in there and i'm like hmm i eh, must be getting some good stuff whatever no big deal you know he'll tell me after she leaves or whatever and uh so i'm standing there i'm shooting the shit with him you know he sees what i've got he's like oh you know let's cut him a deal shaved some, shaved a good chunk of what i had off and, uh, actually, almost forgot, two more, <laughs> uh, my normal buys, because, uh, he usually won't, he won't cut too much off of the, uh, the other buys, but when I buy tons of dollar vinyl, he'll just cut the price in half, and be like, oh, shit, give them to him for next to nothing, because I'm buying up all the vinyl that nobody else will buy, but anyway, uh, two out of my normal stacks, uh, Waiting for the Sun by The Doors, uh, I believe this is an original pressing, I haven't done my complete research yet, but uh, the vinyl is in great condition. It covers a little beat, but I mean, it was only 10 bucks, so shit, why the hell not? And of course, I had to get this Like a Virgin by Madonna. It's just excellent condition, only paid a couple bucks for it. Uh, I love early Madonna, and if you can honestly have a crush on an album cover, I do with this. I've always, <laughs> always loved this album cover. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> so, alright, uh, so anyway, back to my story. Um, so he finishes up with her. He has, you know, a small stack that he took out of her crate that she had. And he asked me if I want to go through it and ask her if that's okay. And she's like, said, sure, yeah. He's like, Cause, you know, I'll be able to give a little bit more than what he can take. And honestly, the majority of it he didn't want because his demographic won't come into his store buying that stuff. So, um, this is what I got out of going through the first crate, and then she had two more in a car. So, three crates, I don't even, I didn't keep account of how many actual albums, probably a couple hundred that I went through, and most of them were all really killer. A lot of stuff I already had, or stuff that I didn't want, but found some real gems in here. I ended up getting 27 in total, and paid 55 bucks for all of them so you do the math that's just over two dollars a piece and some of these you kind of like okay you know fair enough all the ones you're like holy shit you paid two dollars for that yeah i know 
pretty excited myself. So uh, I'll go through a stack and then we'll shoot to part two. So, all right, let's do, yep, okay. So first things first, all of these, uh, some of the covers look a little rough, um, but the vinyl I guarantee is just virtually never played. So I'm really fucking excited to have these. So first things first, Neil Young Crazy Horse, Zuma. Been really familiar with this and been wanting this for a long time. I'm so glad I found it. Um, big one on here, Cortez the Killer. But I mean, this whole album is so solid. And if you're into Neil and Crazy Horse, get it. Just do whatever you have to do to get this. This album is awesome and I love it. Alright, two from Steely Dan. First one, Katie Lied. I've uh, been needing this one for a while, so glad to finally find it. Covers a little rough, but I couldn't complain. I'm so happy to have this. And Steely Dan Gold, still on the shrink, just and like I said, virtually on play. Got this now mainly for uh, the song FM because I did not have that. Um, all the other songs I have on the other albums that I have, so we couldn't pass it up. And some of these I can't really talk about because I haven't spun them yet. Uh, Last Exit by Traffic. Uh, I've been needing this one for my Traffic collection, so I'm always glad to have that. Alright. Here's some cool gems in here. Doobie Brothers. Take them to the streets. Notice that? Notice that? Still Seal. <laughs> Original Still Seal. I'm stoked to have this. Not a huge, huge Doobie Brothers fan, but I mean, I've managed to get the entire collection for like a couple bucks. So, to be able to add this to it is pretty much almost complete. So, I think I'm missing a couple, maybe only one or two. So, really, really stoked. Alright, here's some really cool ones. Alright. Doors, self titled album. And like I said, covers got some creases in it, whatever, no big deal. Now, if I'm doing my research correctly, I believe. This is an original pressing. Tan label. Uh, I believe when I was doing my research on Discogs, I think this was like second 67 pressing or something like that. So, either way, I'm doing my, my correct info. I believe this is from 67. So, hopefully, I really don't care. I mean, it only cost me two bucks, and I'm not worried about a resale value. I'm worried about. Um, having it. So I'm really glad to have it. Another great addition. Soundtrack for Hard Days Night by the Beatles. Of course. Gotta have it. Um, some, uh, some writing on the back and somebody's address sticker, but no big deal. Doesn't bother me all that much. So the, the vinyl's in great condition. Just needed a bit of a cleaning. So And uh, a little bit of damage here on the cover, but I can't complain. I'm so happy to have it for $2. You know what, I think I'm going to cut it off here, and I'll see you in part two. Peace.